With me today is Wayne McEvely. He is a world-renowned pianist. He has studied music and other things at the universities of Pennsylvania, New Mexico, and Southern California. He's played concerts all over the world, all over this country. He's lived all over the country and has been living here in Oklahoma City with us for about four and a half years. And Wayne, I'm going to ask you my usual question, which is what interested you in music? The sound of my mother's voice singing uh, familiar tunes like. And it was beautiful, just yes. beautiful. Absolutely. So, I was magnetized just to the beauty of the sounds and to the voice and to the fact that it took me into a world uh, where you could dream and be free and discover. And later on, when I started to play Beethoven, I made discoveries about well, my mother singing this and then Beethoven doing this. all one, and that if you just uh, stopped and reduced it to its common denominator, it was sound. So that uh, the magic of sound, that it could take you into another world, which was absolutely beautiful, and it could, it could allow you to experience all sorts of wonderful things. And then later on, after I learned to play a bit, and I would discover that people would respond in different ways to different sounds so that I could bring people uh, things that I cherished myself like so whenever I've played this Bach prelude I have noticed that everyone from rambunctious kids to well, a mother in my Mother's Day concert last year at the downtown library was 101. And there was absolutely no difference between the look on her face during this piece and the look on the face of the infants who were in their mother's arms. It was just absolute serenity. So the entire uh, discovery of actually music's doors to many other worlds, which can be taken as dreams, but once you dream them long enough, you understand these are real. You know. Now, you played your first concert in a library, didn't you? My first library concert was at the Free Library of Philadelphia. And the, the very uh, sound of the words, Free Library of Philadelphia, introduced me at a very early age to one of the most wonderful things about libraries, and that is they are free and they're free in every sense of the word. So it's a real palpable, living, uh, concrete manifestation of freedom. So that instead of being an abstract word, uh, freedom becomes real in a library. You are free to come through the door, whoever you are, uh, no matter what, how you're dressed, no matter, no matter, there are no exclusions. And that uh, led me to uh, really uh, appreciate the fact that uh, I was playing for people and there were no, no exclusions, mm -hmm. that you just come through the door and you enjoy the music. I, I still absolutely love that about playing for library audiences. Well, I understand one of the first things you did when you arrived in Oklahoma City was come down to the library and said, can I play some concerts for you? Yeah, very exciting. <laughs> when I first came downtown here, the uh, library that we're now sitting in the atrium of was not yet uh, finished. finished. So that the librarian who greeted us at the old library told us there's going to be a book passing when the, so that was a very exciting thing to me, to be part of that historic event, passing the books from the old library hand to hand down the street, very uh, wonderful experience. And you, it, you just it made you feel a part of the community. and. Uh, I, ever since, I've been like loving Oklahoma City, downtown Oklahoma City. It's like 
thank God I'm in downtown Oklahoma City and nowhere else on the planet. <laughs> All due respects to Talihino, where I'm going to be playing a concert, and Hooker, where I'm going to be playing a concert, and Bartlesville, where I'm going to be playing. And all these library concerts uh, are, they're just like, uh, so wonderful because I can get to play the music of the greatest composers for everyone. You know, Beethoven. Through, through that music, and he's, he is saying to them things that can't be said in any other way. And everybody gets it. You don't have to have any training in music. And so I really like that. I really like that, because you are communicating with people about very significant things, and you can't translate them, but you know that, that this is a, uh, you're conveying eternal truths to people through this music. Now, Beethoven said, here's a kiss for all the world. I believe that uh, the experience of these sounds is uh, a very, uh, it's a very inspiring and consoling and uh, creative inducing language that uh, people need. So the library is providing the most wonderful music to anybody who wants to come and hear it. I love it. Well, that leads me to my next quest question, which is, what is OMM? OMM. Thank you. OM. <laughs> but I'm guessing it's not really a Buddhist chant. No, it is not. It is the Oklahoma McEvely Mozart Project. So, I am presently giving my five CD set of the complete Mozart sonatas to every public library in Oklahoma who wishes to send the postage for it. And so far we have uh, many, many libraries have responded so that it gives me great pleasure to know that children and their parents and the community from Hooker in the Panhandle down to uh, Muskogee and uh, over to Miami and uh, Idabel and all over the state actually are listening to my Mozart. And it's absolutely again free. You know, the library's uh, entire uh, the concept of the library was came into the minds of some people in Philadelphia. Benjamin Franklin was among them. And so he founded this place where you could just go and access all of the riches of the world, the philosophy, the entertainment, the, the information, the, and you could just do it absolutely freely. All the knowledge in the world is right here in this building. All you have to do is check it out. Right. Well, I want to thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you, Peter. We really appreciated it. And I want to remind you that to find out when you can he hear Mr. McEvely play again here in the Metropolitan Library System, go to our website, www.metrolibrary.org, or call your local library anywhere in Oklahoma. He may be coming there next. <laughs>